A roll of curtain material is 30 metres long. Julie buys Y metres of this material, right down in terms of Y, the length that's left on the roll. So if they start with 30 and then they cut off a certain amount, then obviously it's going to be less. So we need to take away whatever they cut off. And in this case, they've taken away, cutting off Y, yeah? So that's what we need to take away from 30. Then in this part, we need to find the total length of this rod. So if we just add them, okay? So that's what we need to do here. Find in terms of A, the total length of the three rods. We've got six, add A, add six. Now what you can do here is add the two sixes, okay? So you can do six, add six is 12, plus A. So we've got an expression there at the end with a number here, the six and six, and plusing the A. So with seven, it says given that the length of AB is 2x, as you can see up here, and the length of AC is 15, which is the whole length yeah, from A to C, write down the length of BC in terms of x. Now, BC, of course, is that part there connecting B to C. So if we know the overall length there is 15, and we know this is 2x, we want to see what this is here, well, essentially, we, we need to cut this off, don't we? We need to take this away from the whole of 15. So we start with 15 and then cut off the 2x. Second part then, it says in the diagram, PQRS is a square and the length is 3y. Write down an expression for the area, giving you answer in its simplest form. So the area, well, because this is a square, the length and width will be the same. And remember the area of a square is length times width. So in this case, 3y times 3y. So you need to multiply the length and width there. Of course, when you do this, you just simply need to multiply the numbers first, okay, which is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. And then multiply the letters. And y times y is y squared. So you get 9 times y squared, which will be 9y squared. Number eight, then, it says a ticket cost T pounds. Write in terms of T the cost of tickets in pence. Now, if it's in pounds, we need to appreciate T pounds. We need to appreciate there's 100 pence in a pound. Okay, so to work out how many pence there are, we're going to need to multiply the T pounds by 100. Okay, because every pound has got 100 pence in. So quite simply, it's going to be 100 times T, so 100 T Pence. Says then in the second part, Joan is H centimeters tall. Jill is three centimeters shorter than Joan. What is Jill's height? Well, Jill is shorter. So if we start with Joan's height, she's three centimeters shorter. So we take away three from H. Two then, a block weighs W kilograms. Write down in terms of W the weight of eight such blocks. So it's eight times W, yeah? Eight W's. Finally then, number nine, it says a co toy costs T pence. Write down in terms of T, the cost of the toy in pounds. Now, in this case, we're given the cost in pence. Now remember, there are 100 pence in the pound. So suppose it was 200 pence, just making this up here. In terms of pounds, that would be two pounds, wouldn't it? Yeah, because there's 100 pence in the pound. So what I'm actually doing there to get from 200 pence to two pounds is I'm dividing by 100 because I'm seeing how many hundreds are in there. So I'm literally dividing that by 100. And that's what you've got to do here. You need to do T divide by 100. And of course, in algebra, we write that as T over 100. Let's get a fraction there and that will be in pounds. And then the second part then, it says on June the 9th, 2012, Beryl was M years old. Write down her age. If you notice then, June the 9th, 2002. So she was M years of age in 2012. In 2002, she would be 10 years younger. So we need to take away 10 from M and we get our answer for her age then.